These are the very subtle, deeper things that are very clearly given in Mahabhagavata about Lord Krishna's life. Those who don't, won't go into these deeper things, they will think otherwise. Because if you think only in terms of physical level, you cannot understand this. If we think in terms of our physical life, you, cannot, you can never understand this. <laughs> That is why even the scholars are also confused. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> an expression. Yes. Our forum is only an expression of the higher principle. This we should always remember. This is exactly this uh, initiation of Yes. <coughs> because these appear to be so many stories in, 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 the, in the Puranas and the scriptures. If you don't know the significance, then all these stories are like fairy tales. <laughs> they are not fairy tales. So, Triambaka is... So, that is the... <laughs> now you know what is Triambaka. <laughs> Triprantaka. Tripura Antaka. Antaka means the one who destroys. Antaka. Anta means, anta means end. Antaka means the one who brings the end, destroys. Tripura Antaka. Pura means city. City, forum. Tripura Antaka means three forums, three cities. So he destroyed three cities. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All of us, we, we, uh, we watch this Devonti Dev Mahadev, also Mahabharata, all this movie, long movies, now we know many stories from Puranas. <laughs> and it is very useful. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Then all, all these devas now are like, like members of our family. <laughs> <laughs> they know all the secrets, all the skeletons in the scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, means both. Yeah. Huh? Uh, Purana means uh, Generally, it is understood as old, but it is eternal. <coughs> yes, they are always there. Purana. Purana is generally understood as something in the past, the old. But it, it, it is applicable always, forever. It is applicable forever. <laughs> Purana, Purana is a, a, the it is a particular type of text which has five types of expo, uh, explanations, five types of presentations together. When, when, a, when, an, a, when an ancient uh, scripture which presents five, which gives five types of presentations, 
then it is called Purana. What are these five is? One is called Sarga. So Purana is which uh, gives five layers of explanation? Five, no, five, five presentations, which explains five aspects. That is, all these Purana, in every Purana, you have these five aspects that are explained. What are the five aspects is? Sarga. Sarga means cosmogenesis. Cosmo, cosmogenesis. Sarga. The creation of cosmic, the cosmic creation. And then Pratisarga. Pratisarga means anthropogenesis, the creation of the beings. First is Sarga, that is cosmogenesis, the creation of the cosmic beings. And then Pratisarga is anthropogenesis, creation of the beings. Sargascha. Second is the beings. Yes, being. Cosmics. Cosmic. Yes. Cosmogeny and cosmogenesis and anthropogenesis. Sargascha, Pratisargascha. And the third aspect is Vamsya. Vamsha, Vamsha means Vamsha means the the coming down. That means the what you call the clan. The descent. Descendants. What you call descendants. Descendants. <coughs> Mainly there are two types of descendants. One is solar and one is lunar. For example, Rama belongs to the solar descendancy. Surya Vamsa, it is called. Rama Rama is Rama has come down through solar descendancy. Surya Vamsa it is called. Surya. Surya Vamsa means the descendancy of solar, the solar descendancy. So Rama Rama came down from that descendancy, solar. Surya Vamsa. The other is lunar. So that is called Chandra Vamsa. Chandra is moon. Chandra Vamsa. Krishna came down through this lunar descendancy, Chandra Vamsa. So there are <coughs> many rulers, great rulers. Some of them came down from Surya Vamsa and some of them from Chandra Vamsa. So Vamsa means this clan or descendancy. I have a question. This uh, Surya Vamsa and uh, Chandra Vamsa, they existed in common or uh, in different paths. Because Rama was in Siva. Uh, in Treta Iva. Treta Iva. In Treta Iva. In Siva. Krishna was in Dwapara, in the copper. At the end of copper. Dwapara. So, uh, Luna and, uh, and Sun, uh, is is one of the first of all, they were in different times. Not in different times. They were together. Not in different times. In some times, more descendants will be from solar ah. and less from the... But there are always like simultaneous. They were, they were Yes, yes, yes. But more from the solar at particular time, more from the lunar at another time. But 
both can descend both descendancies can exist simultaneously <coughs> because e- even at the time of krishna um, Mo- krishna is krishna pandava sala these are all from lunar descendancy but still there are some who came who are continuing from the solar descendancy also so yeah, they, they can exist simultaneously but at particular time it will be more from that descendancy so in purana one is cosmogenesis anthropogenesis and about the vamsya also from the descendancies and all this phenomenon that is also explained and then the fourth aspect is manvantara manvantara means the time the period of time which is governed by the manus there are 14 manus and the time the, the time period that is governed by each manu is called a manvantara it is called a manvantara manvantara is the time period which is governed by a particular manu at the present we are in the vaivasvat manvantara in, in the present manvantara in which we are now it is called vaivasvat manvantara vaivasvat manvantara now we are in vaivasvat manvantara that means vaivasvata manu is the ruler now you can know about this from the books of blavatsky and alice bailey because these are these are all in given in puranas in scriptures if you read blavatsky books and alice bailey <laughs> Madam Blavatsky has given oh, yeah. these things and in, in the books of Alice Bailey also. But this, this, is, this is what Master Mulya brought to Blavatsky. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Because the masters are responsible to keep all this wisdom. So therefore from time to time they bring to the humanity in the particular language, in the particular language. beings according to the according to how they receive from their higher forces <coughs> manvantara and the last one the fifth one is వంశ అనుచరితం వంశ అనుచరితం ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ షీ రోట్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ వెన్ షీ వాజ్ రైటింగ్ షీ వాజ్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లాండ్ షీ వాజ్ రైటింగ్ she was writing these books sitting in england and in and the on the bank of the thames she was uh, by origin but she was writing in english yeah. because the masters decided to give in english, give in english. Oh, the books, the <coughs> for the present humanity masters have decided because so far before that all were in sanskrit all the wisdom all this wisdom was in sanskrit <coughs> preserved in sanskrit language but then masters it, it is not that they have decided but from the higher order that is given to them that for the present humanity english is selected as the language to transmit this wisdom so therefore they have given it in english so the french people were very proper <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, yeah before the, yes. It, it, this has nothing to do with the British. This has not. No. This has nothing to do with any political or uh, racial and all these things. It is cosmic. You know, no. It was Sanskrit was the language used all over the world in the in the ancient times. <laughs> Vedic, Vedic literature it belongs to the whole of humanity, not to one country or one race. <laughs> Yes, you see, there are two rivers, there are two rivers near the village where they are living, Krishna, six Gangas, yeah, they are called, they are called Purna and Ganga in Russia, Sukhan, yeah. see, Kuben, so all these names, you see, they are Vedic names, so it is, it is evident very clearly that uh, it belongs to the whole of the humanity. The humanity was all under one, under one culture, very culture. That is quite evident. <laughs> so therefore, these five, these five form the content subject of the Puranas. <coughs> so, there is, a, there is a stanza also given to remember. Sargascha, Pratisargascha, Vamsho, Manvantara, Anicha, Vamshanu, Chiritam, Chaiva, Puranam, Panchalakshanam. The Purana is having five parts, five types of things, presentations. All these are uh, these five. So, in every Purana, you find these five. Vamsha Anucharitam. Vams Anucharitam means the, <coughs> the, uh, the history, <coughs> the history uh, are the, um, are the, about the, those who came and who has descended and how this descent continued and what was happened, what has happened, this history aspect is given Vamsha Anucharitam. History. So all these, all these uh, Puranas also having the history of the human race. History of human race. Yes. So the history which is present, which is, which is taught now in the present, is not the true history. <laughs> it is all uh, built-up history. In every, in every nation it is like that. <laughs> for India, for Germany, for, for Russia, the, the, history, the history that is pre at the present in the colleges, universities <coughs> is not true history of humanity. So the true history you can find in the scriptures only. So in future we could work on this? Yeah, we have to. <laughs> Because this is very essential that the people understand better each other. Yes. This is that the enemy idea will disappear. Disappear. And this will be a very hard work for the dark forces. If, oh. if all the people know this wisdom, yes. then they will be united. And then for them it is not connected. <laughs> yes. Vasudeva.